Kyrie Irving being unvaccinated. Uh, or sorry, sorry. We don't know if he has or hasn't been vaccinated because it's a private matter, he said, and he would like to keep it that way. But we know he hasn't been vaccinated because that's obviously why he hasn't been able to join the team. So I don't even understand that statement, but that's that's another that's another show on to itself. Kyrie Irving has been essentially told he can't join the team until he is vaccinated. Um, he was allowed to play in 50 percent of the games, which were all home games. Uh, he was allowed to practice at home, but because of state regulations, state laws around uh, COVID and COVID vaccinations, um, he won't be able to travel with the team. And the team executives, and I guess the team as a collective, have decided, well, if you're going to be here half the time, how about you just don't come at all? We'd prefer, we'd prefer to move to move forward without you, is essentially, is essentially what they said. Um, and I, I don't, I think that's a, is a tough situation. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Kyrie. He, obviously he's a talent wise. You can't say nothing about him. Uh, he's, a, he's a great player. Um, and I don't know him personally. It's just some of the things he said publicly have been questionable. Um, and I've tried to listen in its totality so I can get a real view, um, of what he's trying to get across. But at the same time, I've never sat with him. So that's my disclaimer. <laughs> that's, my, that's my disclaimer uh, before I say anything that might go left. Anyways, I think it's, I think this is a tough situation, like I said, because the team has all right to say, look, we can't do this part-time. I'm not a part-time lover. I need you. I need you here every day, baby. It's either me and you or nothing else. Um, and that's essentially what they said that I'm not, I'm not taking this part-time love. Um, and they have it. They Kyrie seems to have <clears throat> thought that they were, it was going to be handled differently. He didn't know that he would have to be vaccinated. He, he was under the impression, I guess that he wouldn't have to be, um, which is fair as well. Um, if you think you didn't have to be vaccinated and you're against the vaccine for whatever reason, then you're, that is your right to refuse uh, the vaccination, to refuse the jab. It's also the team's right to refuse your work, which is kind of, I, let me not say it's their right, they're right. I don't even know if it's their right. They might be, they might be into some legal ramifications here. I don't know, um, which I think they have to pay him for the games that he, yeah. So the games that he will miss because the team has refused his part-time love will be, uh, they'll pay him for that. They'll have to pay him for that. But for the games that, uh, are because of regulations and government, uh, by whatever laws are being passed, uh, around travel and so on and so forth, he will not be paid for that. Cause that's, that's out of the team's control. That's out of the NBA's control. Um, so he will be paid half of his his uh, contract, which is essentially 18 million, 18 million for the year. Um, still a nice chunk, <laughs> still a nice chunk of change. You feel me? Uh, a little bit more than I'll be making this year. Uh, just, a, just a tad bit more. Um, so he'll be all right. He, he'll be all right. He's tough, right? He'll be, he'll be okay. He won't have, he won't, uh, he won't have to sell his home. I don't think, I think he'll be able to survive, uh, the season. Um, but it, then, the, then the question becomes, What's their relationship like moving forward? This is his final year of this contract. Does he get re-signed? Do they keep Kyrie after all this rigmarole and up and down and back and forth? Personally, I don't think it's worth, uh, well, I mean, if next season it's back to normal, if next season everything is back to normal, then Kyrie is still uh, I would say, I guess I would say top 20 because for me, Kyrie Irving, um, well, for me, Kyrie Irving is a role player with incredible. Stuff.